Timothy O'Sullivan for me is an enormously important reference in terms of my own work for a lot of different reasons. Um, first of all, this tradition of photographing the West, obvious. Less obvious is when you look at these things like the King surveys and Wheeler surveys and you go to the National Archives and you look at them, the first page says reconnaissance report, Department of War. And in a very real way, Timothy O'Sullivan was to the 19th century what contemporary spy satellites are to the 21st. In the sense, he, this is a man who was paid by the Department of War to go out and photograph the West. This is the territory that um, had been recently you know, gotten in the aftermath of the Mexican-American War. Nobody really knew what it looked like. When you look at maps from that era, there's vast swaths of unexplored territories or unexplored regions. These are blank spots on the map, real classical blank spots on the map. We tend to think of Timothy O'Sullivan as a kind of art landscape photographer, and he was, but he was also a spy satellite. And I think that his career really was one of the points where multiple histories of photography diverge from. And again, this is very particular to the United States, in particular, actually to the West as well. But I think of O'Sullivan legacy as being not only people like me, but also spy satellites in the skies above us. And, and I don't mean that just in an ideological sense. When you trace out the history of technology that's been funded by militaries and, and uh, the military funding of photographic technologies, again, you find a line that goes straight back to Timothy O'Sullivan.